So you said this is 24-7. 24-7. We started October 1st, and we normally finish the first, second week of January. But we run, once we start, we don't stop. So it's seasonal. So you don't work like that all year long. No, it's 40, 50 hours of work week during the off-season, which mm -hmm. is... Uh, what do y'all do in the off season? Are y'all just repair the factory? We, yeah. we spend eight million dollars just repairing during the summer. So everything, um, majority of what you see out here has to be torn apart, taken apart, inspected, repaired, or replaced. So it's a lot of wear and tear with raw cane juice, you know. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're bringing the sugar cane from the field, and we we test it. And that's what we pay the farmer on. Then we bring it here. Everything you see parked here. Yeah, we saw them coming down that side road right here. They were right. all like in line. truckloads, yeah. So everybody's put on last until the 20, the 15th, no, the 21st of January last year. It's probably going to last to about maybe the 5th or the 6th of January this year, so it's going to be less. Mm -hmm. But everything you see parked here and everything you see on that pile will be gone by tomorrow morning. We process that in a 24-hour period. So That's we make on average 3 million pounds of sugar per day. And we average about 13,800 tons, close to 14,000 tons of cane per day. With that's the incredible. Pounds. Yeah. So this is what we do. That's the, that's the sugar that we make. Uh, that we make. And then we're right. a raw product. Right. So we sugar after you process it. When you get this, what do you do? We ship it to a refinery. The mm -hmm. refinery does the whole process over. They melt it. And they end up with the, the refined sugar, which ends up on your dinner table. That's like the white, the, the white, white sugar. sugar. And, and the, makes they, it they, white. Do, they do the liquid products also. They, they do liquid sugar that they spray on the uh, frosted flakes. And okay. so the refined sugar goes to all the end users of who use the sugar in their product. Uh, Pillsbury, uh, Kraft. What would uh, you say is the difference between this sugar and the refined one? This is a raw product. The raw, refined is a, it's a, it's a finer grain. It's, it's white, white in color. And what makes it white? Like how they get it white? They do the whole process over and they, they don't say necessarily add color to it, but it's part of the refining process that ends up with the white sugar. So you see when you have molasses. Fine, this one tastes better. You have molasses on that. <laughs> oh, that's on, why, on okay. the sugar crystals that makes it dark. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah I didn't know that. So what we're making, I'll take in the warehouse and I'll show you this is the raw sugar that we're making. But another meal made this sugar. See how dark it is? Mm -hmm. So is that one from a different area? No, the 10, right mile, here? 10 miles down the road. But okay, we, this so we have 11 mills in Louisiana, five are in this area. So almost 50% of the mills in Louisiana are uh, in the 20, right. 20 mile yeah. radius. It's here. like Candyland right down here. Yeah. But <laughs> at, one time, at one time, you had 400 sugar mills in Louisiana years and years back. 40 years ago, you had 40 mills. 20 some wow. years ago, you had 20. This right here will tell you in 1963, you had 48 sugar mills in the state of Louisiana. Wow. They were all over the place. They were all up all up into Angola. Mm -hmm. As far north as Angola, you had one in Lecompte, which was uh, not too far from Bunky. But all of these things closed. So, But you had 48 sugar mills back in 1963. But it's not because, like you said, it wasn't because we're growing less sugar, it's just because y'all, yeah. the process is just getting faster. Which right, it's a lot of consolidation stuff. is taking place. Uh, automation, computerization, uh, different varieties of sugar cane have, so a lot of the mills have gotten bigger. It's ironic that we're grinding more sugar cane and making more raw sugar with the lemon mills than we would get with the 20 or the 40. I know, that's incredible. It's just record amounts of sugar and sugar cane that we're processing. So it's just an interesting deal because just the way everybody's set up now. But there's very, very, there's, there's no mills really that's grinding under a million tons of sugar cane. That's months. like mind blowing. That's a lot. It's my 34th year doing this. That's awesome. No, you got an incredible story to tell. Lots of experience. Painted, I'm redoing my house and the paint. It just needs something. Like I said, I have some safety glass. Today. This is where we're at. Okay. So what happens is all the cane is loaded in these carts and we park them for at night. So that's how they, 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 they satisfy their quota. And we bring it in on the other side over here and we core sample it and we weigh it at the same time. So once it comes off the scale, we stop it here and we have one of five points where we dump it. So if you look out that window, that trailer is unhooked from the truck and mm -hmm. we dump it 
Yeah, we were washing it. Then that. we put it back down and we hook it back up and it goes and goes and gets some more. And that goes on all day long. But all the cane you see in the yard, all you see what's parked, is gone by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's insane. So this is where we store our sugar. Store our, we have a warehouse across the street. Does it have a glare street. on it? We put 84 million pounds in each warehouse. 84 million. Mm -hmm. And you can see the difference from these houses. Yeah. So to the size of that. Yeah, so when you walk in, you, 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 you see the difference. Yeah. The so what? The crushing. Is okay. we, we squeeze the cane. We squeeze all the juice out of the cane. Mm -hmm. And as the juice falls out, the, the excess is called, the fiber is called bagasse. The bagasse is fed to the boilers where all that steam is coming from. That's mm -hmm. where we make steam to run all the equipment in the factory. Wow. So that way we don't steam. use the byproducts so we don't have to burn natural gas. That's awesome. So after you squeeze the juice out of it, the bag ass goes to the boilers and that's what we use for fuel. Man. Cool. So then the, the juice leaves the mill and goes through a liming process to where we um, take the impurities out of the juice. And we, we boil that juice and it goes into a, a, a crystal, uh, evaporation and crystallization mm. process all upstairs. And it thickens into a syrup, and then we, we run it through centrifugals where we separate the sugar from the molasses. The molasses goes to these tanks, the sugar goes to the warehouse. Mm, so y'all can get both here. That's, yeah. that's explained in, in 10 seconds, but it's a little bit more to the process. Well. <laughs>